All right, guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the Husky Beard and Grooming Company. Now, I've been able to try their products for the last couple of months. In fact, this video is long overdue. But if you're an avid watcher of mine, you're going to know that I make other kinds of videos. And every once in a while, when I'm discussing a, a life application uh, topic, I'll introduce a beard oil or beard product of the day. And I brought up Husky Beard and Grooming Company before and told you that I like them a lot. So this video is just simply all about them and how much I like them and why you should try their products. I'm going to help you avail yourself of, of any offer that they might have and help you get it at a discounted rate. All you have to do is look at the description box below. I'll give you a link. I'll give you a discount code and you can avail yourself uh, of all these products or any of these products that you want to. If that so be your heart's desire. Now, let me tell you just a little bit about the Husky Beard and Grooming Company. That is, they used to be called the Husky Beard Company. That lasted about a year and a half. A man named Ray out of uh, Queen Creek, Arizona, bought them out. He's amped up their image. He's beefed up their products. He's uh, introduced new products. And uh, they seem to be getting a lot of traction, which, is, which I'm, I'm very happy for them in that regard because they are a good product and they deserve to do well if they put in the hard work. And I have a feeling that Ray is probably mo very motivated to work hard because he has a wife and seven children. So God bless him and God bless America, right? All right, so they are doing, they appear to me to be doing well, and uh, that's because they just make a quality stuff. Now, here's what I've been able to try. I've been trying their uh, non-stripping beard wash, their hydrating beard conditioner. Also, I've been trying two of their probably the most popular beard oils right now, the Siberian and the Zen. And then also matching, matching whipped beard creams, okay, Siberian Zim. And I'm going to talk to you about those. I'm going to try to make this brief. Um, but uh, let, me, let me start off with letting you know that they put the emphasis on the fact that they, they make products that don't leave your beard feeling heavy or greasy. And I can say they've hit the mark on that. They seem to be striking just the right balance on it because you do have some products that do leave, you know, you're wondering if they're too greasy or maybe you've just used too much. Uh, they're, maybe they're too oily. Um, some, some products actually seem too watery. They dissipate too quickly and the evidence of their presence is not even known. Okay, but they seem to be striking just the right balance. They've done their homework. Now, here's, here's what I also I can tell you is they boast of nine ingredients in all of their products. Let me read them off to you, okay? That is virgin argan oil, pure jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, hemp seed oil, and grape seed oil. All right, so that's what you have in all their products. That's a good sign when you can see that they're trying to take a very natural route instead of introducing chemicals and ingredients of which you cannot pronounce and you don't even know how to talk about. Now, I can't say that I'm an expert or scientist in any of the things I just mentioned, but uh, I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable with what they're doing, what they put in these things. Now, let me talk about the, the, uh, the beard wash and the conditioner. First of all, I like the fact that these come in eight ounce bottles as opposed to four ounce bottles. All right. Um, the, uh, a lot of, a lot of companies are just, are, they're, they're disseminating their products into four ounce bottles and for the same price, you can get these in eight ounce. Now these say coconut mahogany scented. Uh, I will tell you in the, in the beard wash, I couldn't smell the, it might just be me. I couldn't smell the coconut mahogany in this too much. I don't really care. All I care about is really just washing my beard and making sure that this works. I have no problems with this. It's a good product. I don't see why anybody wouldn't get it. All right. Now, the hydrating beard conditioner, which I recommend conditioning your beard at least six days a week. Um, that's just me. Some people don't recommend the same kind of uh, format, but that's just what I do, and it works for me. Uh, I like this a lot. You do smell the coconut mahogany a lot in this when you have it in your beard when you're staying in the shower. Um, and that, uh, that to me, it says a lot. I'm, I'm a big fragrance guy. I like colognes. I like anything that smells good. And, uh, so that's always a big, that's always a big plus in, in, in the category. So I like that a lot. I don't have any problems with that. Now, let me talk to you about, uh, their beard oils. Let me tell you about the Siberian first. It's a signature cologne scent. 
I love their logo, first of all. And they even have it on their shirt, which is what I'm wearing. This is a cool shirt. You really ought to look into getting this for yourself. They have this in black, gray, and white. And even look at the back if you can. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you can see it quite well or not. I hope I did that justice. But anyway, that's a, it's a great shirt. It's great fitting. I like the way it fits up here so it doesn't get in the way of the beard. Um, and uh, I just it just feels really good. But anyway, I'll, enough about the shirt. The cologne. I mean, that the, the signature scent cologne. Um, am I saying that right? No, I'm not. Signature cologne scent. Well, let's get that right. But I love this. I love this logo. I love the flat black matte uh, look on anything, especially motorcycles, Jeeps. But this is an attractive looking bottle. And I'll tell you another thing about these um, these bottles is when you make your order, when you you uh, fill out your order for your oils, they're going to give you the option of either using a uh, dropper top, a uh, restrictor, or a pump. All right, I just prefer the dropper. I don't like the pump at all. And the restrictor is okay. I don't mind that. But um, I prefer the, the dropper. So you have options there. This smells very good. It has a very, uh, very clean scent. Here's what they have. Here's the essential oils they have in the Siberian. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Here we go. Uh, amber, teakwood, coffee beans, musk, cedar, leather, lemon, bergamot, narrowly, iris, and vetiver. All right. Um uh, very, um, very good stuff. Narrowly, uh, narrowly in bergamot, they, that's very citrus, citrusy. You know, they kind of, that's the, basically where you're getting your citrus from in this. Vetiver is using a lot of beauty and makeup products widely. Uh, vetiver actually comes from a, uh, an Indian grass root. Uh, and and the, the way they use that uh, in India in, in so many different ways and fabrications is pretty interesting. You should look that up and find out for yourself, but enough about that. So great product, very clean smelling, not offensive at all whatsoever. You're going to like having this in your beard. The scent does stay in your beard for me all day long, which is a, which is a very nice thing. I don't like putting stuff in my beard and you can't smell it after a while. Uh, this is very clean smelling. And then also Zen, Zen, which I happen to like actually more than Siberian. Okay, Zen, here's what it has in Zen. Blend of cit it's a blend of citrus and cologne. That's the scent. And the essential oils, oils are orange, ginger, and teak wood. The citrus in this really comes out. I guess why I like that a lot is because I've lived in Florida most of my adult life. And I'm used to smelling orange groves and orange blossoms. Um, and, and so it's just something I'm accustomed to. It's nice to walk outside in the morning. And I get to have that in my beard all day long. All right. And it has sort of a nice musky smell. Both of these do to them. So it's very masculine at the same time. And then also the whipped beard creams are like basically just beard butters. Um, now, uh, these, there are some beard butters that come across kind of wet. Um, some come across like a lotion. And this comes across a little bit more, it comes across kind of like a lotion and almost a little bit drier than that which is nice because like they said, they don't leave your beard feeling greasy or heavy or anything like that. Now, I don't like using, I don't like using um, butters at all in my beard um, if I'm styling my beard, which is this beard right now is not styled. It's just, it just is what it is. Okay. I haven't straightened it out or anything like that. Um, but uh, that's, if I'm not going to style my beard, I love putting beard butter in or put it in the night before. And um, these smell very much like, the 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 beard oils they are made with refined shea butter so there you have it now they also make other they make like eight other oils eight other oils balms and uh butters and i'm not going to list them all but i'm not going to sp spend the time to list them all but I'm, i'll tell you there's a couple that i'd like to try a lot that is a royal black because it's supposed to smell like sweet tobacco i like anything that smells like tobacco smooth maverick which is supposed to smell like smooth wood and minty and uh, Modern Man, which is supposed to be woodsy and musky. And that's just three of those. There's, there's like eight of them. One of them's unscented, of course. But the, uh, I'll tell you that the, the, the Siberian uh, Signature Cologne scent is like 22 ounce. Uh, it's a $22 for a one ounce bottle. This is like, what is this? $16.99, I believe. Let me make sure I'm getting that right. Yeah, $16.99 for a one ounce. Um, the 
Beard wash and the conditioner. Let me see how much these are. Where did I put that? Oh, these, those are sixteen ninety nine a piece, which is which is about average, which you, you're going to spend on anything like that. The T-shirt I showed you is twenty three fifty. The um, the whip beard creams are sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, they're both sixteen ninety nine. They're, that's and that's nice. Those are very nice. I haven't tried out their balls, but I'd love to. I'd love to, especially when it comes to styling my beard. And that's what I think of those. I really like them a lot. Uh, I will tell you that um, at, as far as shipping goes, uh, anything, uh, any U.S. orders over fifty dollars is free. And if you are watching this and you're from, you're not in the United States, you're going to be happy to know that if you spend seventy-five dollars more, shipping is also free. I've had people tell me with other companies that they just couldn't afford them because international shipping was just too much. But with them, if you spend seventy-five dollars, at least you get free shipping. And so there, there you have it. There you have. It. They have other things too. They have other things. Just go check them out for yourself. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Use my discount code Boswell15, and you're going to get fifteen percent off of everything. So the prices I quoted you here is not what you're going to be paying. You're going to be paying less. All right. So take advantage of that. You might be able to get even more because of that you might be inclined to uh, try things you had not tried before. But uh, you know, just help yourself to these things. Enjoy them. You know, uh, treat yourself to something nice, and um, and let me know what you think. If you've tried Husky Beard already, comment below, uh, and um, I'd be happy to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if like I said before, if you have not liked this video, please like it, subscribe to it, share it. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. I've had fun. All right. Bye-bye.